your pockets won't make them bulletproof, you know. After turning Skaggs into an endangered species and fixing Marcus's vending machine, I opined for all of the guns that were still at level 4. I also realized this level would be pretty short because I was already well on my way to getting there after completing this side mission. One thing I had acquired in this time was a nail gun. Usually they're referred to as submachine guns, but let's face it, this particular nail gun was made by Hyperion, which meant that when I looked down sight, it brought up this handy dandy shield. I will say that I like the features that they put into the different companies' models of guns that really distinguish them far better than in previous installments in the series, and this one was proven to be quite effective when I was outnumbered. Just as I was really starting to admire my cool shield gun, I went into fight for your life mode again. But there is no bandit alive that can beat the power of a nail gun. When I got tired of hitting them with said nail gun, I just decided to whip out the giant mech. And again, this proves to be a really effective method to get rid of all of the rabble. Usually I try to hold off on using my action skill for the really tough enemies, but sometimes I'm just annoyed. Not long after my mech powered down, I hit level 4. And yeah, that's pretty much all that really happened in level 3. It was actually a fairly quick turnover from level 2. But I did take the opportunity to start looking a little bit more in depth at my skill trees. Initially, I was putting points into Demolition Woman, which is really about maxing out damage and giving bonuses to splash damage. But I was really tempted to put points into Bottomless Mags, which increases your ammo count and regenerates ammunition as well. Then there is also Shield of Retribution, which I didn't look at very much at the start, and is mostly about staying alive as long as possible. You know, shields, armor, etc. At some point, I may respec to go into Bottomless Mags because ammunition may become a bigger issue in the future, but right now I'm actually pretty happy sticking with Demolition Woman because I want to do lots of damage now. And the initial skill deadlines, which increases fuel efficiency for Iron Bear, just seems like a good idea. At this point, especially early on in the game, I'm not as worried about accessing my action skill as often as possible, and more or less just want it to be as effective as possible when I have to pull that trigger. And that will do it for level 3. What will happen at level 4? Oh, we're probably going to meet another annoying character. Uh, this is going to be a... Ugh. Yeah, you'll see what I mean on the next episode.